Hi guys, so today, as you can see, I, my face is not finished, but I did do something. I did something. And that something is highlight contour, and yeah. So, I just contoured, highlighted my face, and I just show, I want to show you guys how I do it. Again, you can use, you don't have to use the same products that I use in this video. You can use any products you have. Just make sure you just kind of follow the technique on how to highlight, highlight, highlight highlight and contour so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video please comment like and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys soon Bye. okay so to start off my contour and highlight routine i'm going to first go ahead and use this prime time primer this is by bare minerals i'm just going to apply this all over my face just to secure this is just going to secure my foundation so make it last longer um prevent it from fading throughout the day and that is basically all it does. So I moisturized my skin and I prepped it um, last night. So I, I didn't apply any moisturizer. Because I applied a thick moisturizer last night. But you can moisturize your face if you wanted to. But I just skipped that step since I did it last night. So as you can see from my voice, I just barely woke up. So please excuse my voice and my face because I look like a zombie. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and use one of my favorite foundations so far. It's the Lark. The Lorac Cocokin, Cocokin, it's the Lorac Cocokin Cream Compact Foundation in CR5, and I've done um, first impression on this product, so if you want to see that, I'll link it down below. I'm just gonna go ahead and swirl it, and then kind of just apply that on my face, just like that, and then take my Elf stippling brush, and then just blend that into my skin, and. Honestly, this product is really, really, really good. I love it. It blends really well. It gives me, like, a full coverage, which is amazing. Um, even though I really don't need the full coverage, it still gives it to me. And it's more natural. Um, so, yeah, I really, really love this foundation. Okay, so now for contouring and highlighting, I'm going to use the color CRA, and it's in the color Deep by the same Lorac, um foundation yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and just apply this dark foundation on the hollows on my cheeks and on my forehead just to make it look more slim the side of my face I'm using this um, Urban Decay Naked 3 brush. You can use anything you want. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and use the thinner side and apply that towards on my nose. Starting from towards almost the middle of your brow and then you're going down just to make sure my nose looks thinner and then apply it over mine like that I'm gonna look weird just just bear with me here so I'm just applying a little bit more of foundation And you can apply this on your jaw. And right here. To make your lipstick more plump. And that's basically it. Okay, so we're done with the contouring. I focus it on my on my um, I focus it on my forehead, sides of my forehead, contour, my jawline, and my nose. Those are the parts that I wanted to make more slim. So now I'm going to go ahead and take my Maybelline Dream Numi. I love this stuff. Ugh, it's amazing. And I'm just going to just rank it up and apply that on my face. And I'm making that triangle triangular shape and just filling it in a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and take this on 
my jaw, my nose, and my forehead. Uh, I'm making like an upside down triangle when I'm doing my forehead. And you can also put this underneath your brow bone as a highlight. You can connect that to like the outer part and then here. And here. And maybe down here if you want to. I look like a mess. I'm sorry. I know. But this is how you contour and highlight. So I had it the places where I wanted to be more, my face more sculpted, if that makes sense, like more higher. And the contours make it more like a shadow. So I just applied it on under my eyes, my forehead, um, my chin, and underneath the contour, and underneath my brow bone. So I'm going to go ahead and blend all that out. Again, I'm going to use... Again, I'm going to use the Stippling Brush by e.l.f. Um, I feel that this brush helps a lot, and since it already has the foundation kind of in there still, it kind of just blends out everything nicely. So first, you just want to, you just want to blend out the highlight first. And I'm just blending it out. So I'm just blending out the highlight. Okay, and now I'm just going to go ahead and kind of blend that together with the contour. And just swirl it. Swirl it around. Okay, so then I get a little bit better. Just a little bit. Okay, so for now, for the nose and like the cupid's bow, it's kind of hardest for me because you really want to blend it out nice. So I just kind of like like smash the sides and just make sure to just contour. Because if I, I think if, I feel like if I use like the whole thing, it doesn't really clean it up right. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and then leave it alone once I go down the bridge of my nose. Make sure you blend everything out nicely. I'm going to go ahead and apply under eye brightening powder just to brighten up my face. Um, so yeah, this step is optional. You can just leave it like this. Okay, so to contour and highlight, I'm going to go ahead and use my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, contour kit. I'm going to use the color Fawn and Java. And just start carving out my face. Okay, so once I am done with the contour with my cheeks, I'm going to go ahead and contour with my nose. I'm using the Sigma Precision Eyeliner in P84. And someone just texted me, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so I'm using this, the color. This is... Java, which is the one I use for my contour, and this is Fawn, which I use as well. I'm just going to be using Fawn just to contour my nose. So I'm just going to go ahead and just contour, just setting that um, foundation that we oh that we applied, and just contouring my nose. No biggie, just contour, and make it slimmer. My voice is so raspy. Okay, so next up, I'm going to use my. Real Techniques um, setting brush, and I'm going to use the color banana, which is the yellow. I wish I just had a mirror so I could just be like, okay guys, because I have to look over here. That's really annoying. But, oh well. Again, I'm using the color banana underneath my eyes just to set that concealer into place, make sure it does not crease. Or any of that yeah, that's basically how you highlight and contour. There's really nothing much to it, just blending out, having the dark colors, you know, 
um, nicely, you know, to find on your face. And that's basically it. You can go ahead and do your eyes and whatnot, and you're going to look gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So, yeah, this is basically my highlight and contour video. I know that it isn't, um, I didn't finish my face, so I'm going to do another video for that. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. If you want to give me some suggestions on any videos you want me to do, feel free to leave a comment. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.